I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw James K. Polk, the 11th President of the United States. One finger in the center, underneath, put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, we're going to draw a slightly wavy line down, little curve line out, two, three, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, slightly wavy line down, curve line up, and leave that floating. Right at this point, we're going to draw a big curve line down, in, out, up, curve line, out, and leave that floating. Come back over here to the right, and we're going to draw slightly curve line down, out, down, over, leave it floating. Come back over here to the left, and we're just going to draw curve line down, curve line over, up, connect. Starting inside this space, curve line over, back, connect on the left, curve line over, up, back, connect. Come over to the left, we're going to draw a curve line. Curve line down, up, connect, curve line, curve line down, up, connect on the right. Because I have my blackout, I'm just going to go ahead and color in this space on the left and this space on the right. Okay, come inside, we're going to draw a straight diagonal down little curve line, curve line, curve line up, leave it floating, come down about here, put a dot, we're just going to draw a slightly curve line, curve line, and underneath little curve line. Draw one, two little straight lines. Okay, he's got on a high collar white, so I draw a straight line down, Curve line over, straight line up, connect, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect, curve line on the left, curve line on the right to the end of the paper. Come back up, we can continue this little line right here if you need to. Now at this point we're going to draw slightly diagonal line out, Curve line in, little curve line out, curve line down, off the page. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a curve line out, in, out, down, off the page. Come right up here on the left, curve line down, out, off the page. On the right, curve line down, off the page. Why was James K. Polk important. We're going to write up at the top Gold Rush. And where was the Gold Rush? California. So we don't forget who this president is. He is James K. Polk. And he was our 11th President. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is going to be super easy because if you have multicultural crayons, you can color him apricot or peach. He is a European white Caucasian man, so those would be the colors. If you don't have that multicultural crayon. You can either leave him white, which is fine, except the whole thing will be white, or maybe add a little light pink, light brown, just to give his face a little bit of color. 
So that's that. Then he had white hair, white eyebrows, don't have to do anything of there. And this is that white linen that they always wore for their shirts. And this is their black frock coats. Once you start talking about 1848, this was the style of dress. Everybody kind of wore this almost like a uniform. So it's white linen, black frock coat, and then these interesting hairstyles. He doesn't have any facial hair, but a lot of them did. So we just color this in black. Leave everything else white, and then, because I always have to do a pop of color, I just took my red and just drew some straight red lines just because that's what I do. You can pick a different color if you want. Totally make a choice. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, I had no idea how important James K. Polk was. I knew he was in charge of the gold rush in California, which he confirmed at the fourth annual address to Congress. Just said, yep, it's happening, and everybody rushed west. He also got us into the Mexican-American War, which gave him California, expanded U.S. territory, and most of the Southwest. He was a Democrat, and before he was president, he was the governor of Tennessee. Okay, bye-bye.